At the time, I said, my life is over. I'm going into recovery, I'm done. And he said, no, it's not, it's just beginning. Yeah. And I think about that so often. But that mindset that, because you are going into a life change. Yeah, absolutely. Right? It's, a, it's, a, it's a life altering decision to get into recovery. The thing is, every day that went along, it got to be a better and better and better decision every time. Yeah. Every day that goes by. Even now, what I said last Friday when we met, I said, I'm at a place I never thought I'd be. Yeah. For peace and serenity, for, for a lot of things. And we talked about this before the show specific things. Um, not looking over my shoulder, not afraid to answer my phone, money in my pocket, being able to walk with my head up and proud instead of with my head down, afraid who you're going to see. It's unending. No. Does that sound familiar? Well, well, very familiar. And you like yourself better. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I just find that I'm a lot more uh, blunt and honest. <laughs> That's another story. Yeah. You grow a backbone in recovery. You allow people to treat you a certain way because you think you deserve to be treated a certain way. You don't have a very good impression of yourself. Why would anybody else, yeah. right? Or, or you get really caught up in trying to please people so that they like you. Because one of, the, one of the fundamental problems most of us have is we don't feel good enough about ourselves to really stand up for what we believe in. And, and so we're constantly trying to please people. And inside what that does to us is it constantly reinforces the idea that the real me isn't acceptable, that if they knew the real me, they wouldn't like me. And, and that's one of the things that, that I had to learn because I was really good at telling people what they wanted to hear uh, because I wanted to be liked and accepted. And what I've discovered is that uh, as I found myself uh, uh, and started to be able to gently present my real self, that, that that was accepted too, that I didn't have to please everybody. Well, I'll say this, it's, a, it's always been a little different for me as a public person to be in recovery. And when you talk about standing up for yourself when you're in active addiction, I was afraid to stand up for myself in any regard because somebody might expose my dirty secret that I'm an yeah. alcoholic and yeah. I have all these um, skeletons in my closet. But now, and I would suggest it's a certain kind of person that pulls that leverage on you. Yeah. People are still trying to pull it now. Oh, you were a drunk, you were this. I'm like, can't say it anymore, bro. <laughs> we're coming up on five yeah. years. And, it's over. And they're probably jealous that you're doing well. And I, and I find that a lot. Like, there, there's always a group of people who don't want somebody else to get better because it's going to make them look bad. I've always heard that. I've never understood it because I don't think that way. Yeah. But well, I, I hear it all don't. the time. Yeah, but... Uh.